flags mattered in Andersonville. For the Confederate soldiers stationed here, the second national flag represented the hopes and dreams of an independent nation they endeavored to establish. For the Union prisoners in Andersonville, the Confederate second national flag represented captivity and treason. Inside the prison, the U.S. flag was contraband and could be seized and destroyed upon discovery. For prisoners, even a glimpse of the stars and stripes gave hope. For Confederate guards, the U.S. flag was a symbol of destruction and invasion. Both flags served as powerful reminders of the passions that motivated soldiers on both sides. Illustrations made by prisoners depict a variety of flags flown around the prison. Some show the rectangular flag of the Army of the Tennessee, while others show the second national flag, which was the official flag of the Confederate government during most of the prison's operation. Individual guard regiments had their own flags as well. In addition to the Confederate national flag, a series of white flags were placed throughout the prison in order to mark ranges for artillery pieces in the surrounding fortifications. Between February 1864 and May 1865, Camp Sumter Military Prison at Andersonville was a major Confederate Army installation. As many as 5,000 Confederate soldiers lived and worked at the site which served not only as the largest military prison during the war, but also as a hub for soldiers and supplies moving through the state. In order to both recognize the role of the Confederate Army at the site and to consider the broader scope of the conflict, a Confederate flag will be flown at the Star Fort throughout the 150th anniversary of the prison's operation. Uh, the Second National represents the proper period in time uh, that the that the prison site was opened and so we selected the second national flag uh, to fly here. The Star Fort, which is where we're located, uh, acted as uh, not only uh, a defensive area in case of cavalry attack, but it also was acted as a headquarters uh, for the prison site. As a symbol, it's a, it's a visual way to tell the history, to start conversations about what this place meant how it was experienced in different ways by different people here.